Visionary leadership means we have the power to transform our programs and our entire schools because we have the ability and are in a position to have influence over every student and every teacher in our school. And we transform our programs through knowledgeable use of online information, digital tools, and through reading the books on our library shelves. Another way we show visionary leadership is through facilitating personalized professional development. What is it that your teachers need? And we offer it to them at their point of need. One part of it is this, that we're obviously going to share some skill or tool or resource with our staff. We're going to teach them something. But two is that now we're standing up in front of our staff or we're sending out an email if you're not comfortable standing up in front of your staff. And we are serving as a positive professional leader in front of them. They begin to see you as a professional leader in the building when you stand up and speak to them. And PD opportunities don't, it doesn't have to be in a big after school workshop environment. It could be a lunch drop in opportunity, it could be emails, video tutorials, whatever you feel the most comfortable with. We also have these expanding networks. Join a professional learning community. Use the Twitter hashtag, QSLIN. Share weekly tweets or exchange texts. Find a way to share ideas with each other. It helps to hold each other accountable. When you're sitting here saying, yes, I'm going to start genrefying my fiction collection, then your colleague can send you a text next week and say, hey, have you made any progress on that? We make the changes in our program that are right for our students' futures. Nostalgia for a classic, beautiful space like this is lovely. I would love to sit in here and read and have a cup of tea. But visionary leaders know learning spaces need to be reinvented in order to, for us to be relevant and meaningful for our students. Let's make sure that our leadership, even when we're being questioned, is moving towards the future. And when things are tough, when we're being questioned about why our school still needs a librarian, visionary leaders stay positive. Being positive in these situations is real leadership. So consider the library report. This is my real library report from 2014. How does this, Pam Harlan from 2014, how does this show any impact on student learning? It's pretty meaningless how many books were checked out each month. I think it's important that we let our schools see who we are, what we do, and why it matters. So this is called the level of collaboration rubric. I would send this out, I would choose some projects that I worked on with teachers collaboratively, and then I used this rubric down at the bottom. So a one meant I, there was no collaboration beyond I pulled together some resources and scheduled them to use the library. And five meant I provided a lesson in information literacy or concept as a result of planning with the teachers and doing everything else. So now my teachers see this once a month, administrators see this once a month, parents see this once a month. They see all the great things that are happening in the library what classes we're working with, what projects are happening at a pretty high level. It's easy to look at these ideas and feel like people are born leaders and maybe I'm not a leader. We know that leadership is a skill. It is not a genetic disposition. And I'm certainly not asking you to be the boss when you get back to your school, but to be a coach, to serve as a model or an example to inspire enthusiasm, to be positive, to pass on a couple of tools that you learned. So when you're going into a stressful situation, if you're about to give professional development and you feel nervous talking in front of your staff, you have to strike a power pose. <laughs> when you stand in a position like this or with your arms up above you, you release testosterone into your bloodstream. <laughs> For serious. So think about how your actions inspire others to dream more, to learn more, to do more, and become more. We're all leaders in this room. Everything you do is about leadership. <laughs>